Okay, so this is my first video tutorial on any of the songs I've written. It's for Dancing on the Light. Uh, I guess basically it's my, most of my sheet music sales are for this song as well as a lot of my Pandora plays. So I'm going to try to do things two ways at the same time, how I would approach this for kids. And after after about a year and a half of lessons is when I tend to introduce this to my students um, and also some uh, clues for adults. So hopefully by now you have the latest version that has both the fingering added, which is a huge deal. Um, fingering is very critical for the right hand and also uh, for the left hand notes. I barely got this through this recording. Um, because basically I have to look at music when I play. And there are just too many notes in both hands. And so I found myself just skipping some notes in the left hand and making a few right hand revisions towards the end. And it seemed to work out okay in the recording. So when I was starting to get ready for this video, I realized that I hadn't um, corrected the notes. So I corrected the notes and sent emails out today. So when I first have my students do this, I have them just begin On the first couple of pages, just playing the chords as they go across. And I have them also, I actually write down the names of the chords underneath. And I basically tell them at some point, they're just going to be able to just ignore the three notes. They just know that basically E minor is just going to be E, G, and B. So initially their music has a bunch of chord symbols written over the left hand parts and it works out really good for them. The first challenging thing for everybody is that uh, measure 17 because left hand is going up quite a ways and it has to jump way down here with no loss of time. The way you do this is just by slowly replacing the left hand with the right hand. So measure 17 is all left hand. Measure 18 is right hand coming down the third note. Measure and next measure is right hand playing two notes. And last measure right hand is playing three notes. At that point left hand has time to move down to measure 21. So again measure 17 it starts out with the right hand plays one note, then two notes, then three notes, and then we're good. So that is um, the first technically challenging part of the song. Uh, sometimes my students measure 21. Uh, we're down here, I guess. They're going to miss that syncopation. Same thing, measure 27. There's nothing that says it couldn't be. That works equally, equally well, too. Um, I just generally change, tend to change notes as I play anyway. So basically, I first I have them learn the first part. First page, and I just basically just say, hey, good news. The second page is the same as the first page, just lower. And they'll love that. So going on to page four, and of course now we have a second theme, and I apologize, my pages are a little mixed up here. No really challenges really note-wise a rhythm until you get to page five. And one of the things I really drove into my students is all basically using the S word slowly, separate hands and small sections. So you have a, a lot of uh, A 
lot of syncopation going on with the right hand. That's for separately comes in really well. So when you put it all together slowly. Again, fingering makes a huge difference in the right hand. Even the fastest notes in the song. And going on. And that brings us to measure 102. What I do with my students, I basically tell them that this is what's going to determine the speed of the whole song. Because I've seen all sorts and heard all sorts of terrible collisions with notes as they try to get the idea. You can have them play the same measure over and over again, or you can play the same measure over. The fastest you can play that well, that's going to determine, in one sense, how fast the song is going to go. Okay, this now is the most difficult section of the song. Measures 1010. To 133. One of the things you can, one of the things I do with my kids is they get to um, and then basically I just take them to maybe a measure 148 and add an E in the right hand. And they can just can go on to the end of the song. pain and suffering. This is also the section that I modified to match what I was playing when I was recording. Again, since I was having trouble playing the stupid thing, um, I typically get my songs done in one or two takes. Um, this song, I've lost track of how many times I was doing this part. So initially you want to, is there kind of a pattern here in the left hand? <laughs> one of the new parts. So I'm so used to doing things differently. Uh, let's go back bottom of the other page. Mm -hmm. 
So, it's the lilies here. I took out a lot of notes in that section. And this next part measures 126 to 133. Have the same chord, oops, chord progression. Again, right hand, go five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So maybe play slowly, counting out loud, writing counts down is a big thing. Then, like before, just playing it really slowly. Again, as you're working to speed things up, like I tell my students, let's see, we're, we're working maybe measures 110 and 111 on page 6. You've got the slow part down. You start out with a small session getting faster, so maybe work on this first part. That's going to be how you beat this thing in the end. Or you can just chicken out and leave this last part out. And then basically from 133 to the end, it's all um, repetition. Nothing new that you haven't had before till the very end. And then you just basically have got... Let me have the right hand play the last note. You pick a D third. And that is this tutorial. Um, I hope it helps. I'm going to review fingering to huge for the right hand. I had trouble with it until I basically had the fingering and figured out the optimal fingering. Slowly, hands separately, small sections. That's it. Let me know what other songs I can help you out with. See what we can do. Bye-bye.